After my review of the recent Grapple, Inferno and Road Hauler toys, I thought, let's keep this crane game going. And by the way, you should all have heard yourselves after that review. <laughs> Garvin, where's Art Fire? Why don't you have <laughs> Art Fire? Look, fucking shut up. If I had it, don't you think I would have shown it? Think. Anyway, in the time it took between buying Smokescreen here on eBay and him arriving a few days later, I read that the designer of the toy, Aaron Archer, said this was the bottom of the barrel. They didn't consider this was a very good toy. I well, thanks, Aaron. You know, I'll try and have a good time anyway, I suppose. And you know what? I did have a good time with Smokescreen. Look at them in their wee futuristic truck mode. Nice and bright, good amount of detail. Mine's definitely yellowing a bit on the crane, but I don't think that's a huge problem considering the colour scheme. The crane can rotate, and there's a mini con port on the front of the truck. It does absolutely nothing, but it's there. And there's this little hatch that reveals some moulded cog detail. So, cheers, Aaron. I know what you're saying. You wished that the crane extended. Well, it doesn't, okay? Just accept it for what it is. And, ah, see, just kidding. Dry your eyes, because Smokescreen's mini con partner, Liftor, is here. He's some kind of futuristic forklift. Great. Plop Liftor onto the crane port, and suddenly you can extend it out. And then, oomph. A big missile launcher. Look at the size of that. Wonderful. The missile fires at the merest touch of this button. Truly, who could ask for more? On the back end, we have this winch you can connect to lift door or anything with a 5mm port, really. Extend the rope out, and depending on the position of this switch here, you can drag them along, or indeed reel in the rope as you drive forward. A nice little touch. Transformation doesn't take that long. Just open the doors and disconnect the bottom of the truck, swing that down. Push the waist upwards, then separate the legs and pull out the feet. Swing around the arms and extend those out. I really like this cute detail. When you swing the crane around to face the right way, Smokescreen's face comes around too. And what a face it is. Just look at this pouty little fella. I was so sure that these legs, especially the feet, wouldn't be enough to balance the weight of this stocky squat boss. But they're surprisingly up to the job. Once you extend the crane out, then you run into problems. You know, but it's manageable. Somehow I'm just built different and able to cope with this. There's not a ton you can do besides stand smokescreen upright anyway. There's no knees, and whoever thought to give smokescreen the gift of elbows, I'm looking at you here, Aaron. I hope you kept the receipt, because these might as well not exist. Liftor weirdly has way more articulation than his big pal with knees, elbows, and even his head can turn, assuming that you can get your fingers in there. I like the design a fair bit, nice colours, and I like that one-eye visor gimmick that was the style at the time. He's not getting through the scanner at the airport easily, but he's cool. Overall, Smokescreen's cool. Definitely a unique look. I like the awkwardness of it with that ridiculous crane and the winch on his chest. Nowhere near as bad as I'd heard. Cheerio!